हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज लेसन थर्टी वन ऑफ लर्न हिंदी थ्रू इंग्लिश एंड इन दिस लेसन वी विल लर्न अबाउट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पास्ट टेंस सेंटेंसेस फॉर थर्ड पर्सन प्रोनाउंस ऑल राइट ना यू नो अबाउट द यूसेज ऑफ यह एंड वह यह इज यूज फॉर ही वेन द पर्सन इज नियर टू यू यह इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर शी वेन द पर्सन इज नियर टू यू इन द सेम वे वह इज यूज फॉर ही वेन द पर्सन इज फार अवे फ्रॉम यू एंड वह इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर शी वेन द पर्सन इज फार अवे फ्रॉम यू नाउ वी हैव अ स्लाइट चेंज वेन वी आर फॉर्मिंग पास्ट टेंस सेंटेंस इन पास्ट टेंस यह बिकम्स इस यह बिकम्स इस एंड वी यूज दिस इस टू रेफर टू अ पर्सन हु इज नियर टू यू एंड वह बिकम्स उस वह बिकम्स उस एंड वी यूज उस टू रेफर टू अ पर्सन हु इज फार अवे फ्रॉम यू ऑल राइट यह बिकम्स इस इन द पास टेंस सेंटेंस वह बिकम्स उस इन द पास टेंस सेंटेंस ऑल राइट नाउ लेट अस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट इफ वी वॉन्ट टू से ही एट अ समोसा और शी एट अ समोसा देन वी से इस ने समोसा खाया इसने समोसा खा या हियर इस इज यूज फॉर यह यह एंड ने इज एडेड इन द पास टेंस और एडेड वेन वी हैव अ सेंटेंस इन द पास टेंस फॉर सो इस बिकम्स इस ने इस बिकम्स इस ने ऑल दो वी हैव अ स्पेस बिटवीन इस एंड ने सो इस बिकम्स इस ने and this is ne refers to he or she and when does it refer to he or she when he or she is near to you all right so is ne is he or she samosa is samosa kha ya is eat kha is the root verb eat kha is the root verb eat and as the root verb is only one letter in hindi kha it gets the sound of ya it gets the sound of ya at its end at its end and it gets ya as samosa belongs to masculine gender as samosa belongs to masculine gender we have the rule of masculine gender being applied to the root verb so ka becomes khaya so isne samosa khaya is he or she ate a samosa whereas he or she ate an idli is said like isne idli khai isne idli khai here isne refers to he or she and isne refers to he or she when he or she is near to you idli is the eatable idli itself khai is eat kha is the root verb which means eat and at the end of kha we have to add e as idli belongs to feminine gender idli belongs to feminine gender so we have to use kha e we have to add e when the object belongs to feminine gender and ya or a when the object not the subject object belongs to masculine gender 
this is the object in this sentence this is the object in this sentence all right if this was feminine if this was feminine then we should have said isne samosa khai kha e if this was masculine then we should have said isne idli kha ya okay next if we want to say he or she read a paper then we have to say isne paper padha isne paper padha isne here refers to he or she when he or she is near to you paper is the english word paper itself all right paper itself pad is the root verb which means read pad is read and we add a sound to the root verb when do we add a sound to the root verb when the object in the sentence belongs to masculine gender here paper belongs to masculine gender and so pad becomes pada pada all right next he or she read a book isne kitab padhi isne kitab padhi here isne refers to he or she kitab is the hindi word for book pad is the root verb which is read the root verb gets the sound of e at the end so pad becomes padi and when does it get e sound it gets e sound when the object in the sentence is of feminine gender so kitab belongs to feminine gender so we have e at the end of root verb if paper belong to feminine gender then we should have said isne paper padi isne paper padi if kitab or book belong to masculine gender then we should have said isne kitab padha isne kitab padha all right next he or she ate a samosa is usne samosa khaya usne samosa khaya now in this case usne refers to he or she when he or she is far away from you when he or she is far away from you we use usne for he or she rest everything are same samosa samosa kha becomes khaya as samosa is male or belongs to masculine gender he or she ate an idli is usne idli khai usne idli khai here usne refers to he or she when he or she is far away from you we used kha e because idli is female he or she read a paper is usne paper padha usne paper padha here usne refers to he or she when he or she is far away from you padha is used as paper belongs to masculine gender he or she read a book usne kitab padhi usne kitab padhi here usne refers to he or she when he or she is far away from you kitab is book padhi is used as kitab belongs to feminine gender all right next 
If you want to say Ram or Shilpa ate a samosa, assuming this is Ram, masculine gender, or Shilpa, and Shilpa who belongs to feminine gender. And if you want to say Ram or Shilpa ate a samosa, then you have to say Ram ne samosa khaya or Shilpa ne samosa khaya. Ram ate an idli is Ram ne idli khai. Shilpa ate an idli is Shilpa ne idli khai. Ram read a paper is Ram ne paper pada. Shilpa read a paper is Shilpa ne paper pada. Ram read a book is Ram ne kitab. Padi. Shilpa read a book is Shilpa ne kitab padi. Okay. So the root verb and the sounds that go with it depends on the gender of the object in the sentence. Alright. Click subscribe, click on the bell icon and click on all to get notified when we post a new video. If you want to watch more videos, click on the channel and click on playlists and follow any playlist that you want.